Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to continue with the second lecture of interview questions. So let us begin. In an interview of Cognizant, I faced a similar scenario whatever I discussed in my previous lecture itself. The scenario was like that. The interviewer provided me a string. My name is your name. Suppose my name is Gaurav Kumar Gupta. So he told that in the string S, kindly put my name is Gaurav Kumar Gupta and the desired output will be opposite of whatever is written in the sentence itself. Means Gupta Kumar Gaurav is name and my. So we will look into the code, how we can do it. Let us proceed. So again, I will open the online compiler itself because nowadays it is a requirement to write the code inside the compiler itself. So let us begin. So here, First of all, I will write the string, whatever was asked by the interviewer. So I will write it. Even I can, I can copy this one instead of writing it. So just copy this one, control C and we can put it here in the compiler, online compiler. And you have to give semicolon. Now, what is my requirement? My requirement is to get the desired output. So I will create a desired output string as, as I already discussed in my previous lecture, I can create a empty string where I can get my desired result. So I will create it by using desired double quote semicolon. That is done. Now what, what should I do to get each words in previous lecture? Also, I told that we have to use a split method of the string split method again i am telling in the current lecture itself so what what i need to do i need to give blank spaces means double quote and space and i can use this split method to split each word present inside this sentence and afterwards using the for loop concept i can reverse whatever is written so let us see step by step so what i need to do I need to split the string. So I will write s dot split and inside the split, I will write double quote and space semicolon. And as I told in previous lecture also, I have to put it inside a string array because it is the, it is giving me different words of the string itself. So words bracket equal to s dot split means I have created a string array in which each word will be stored in each index of this words string array. Now what I need to do, I need to iterate each word to get whether I am getting the different words or not. So, but here the requirement has changed from the previous lecture. Here I want to have the each words in reverse order. So what I can do, I can iterate it in a reverse manner. So instead of int i equal to zero, I will start with the last index, whatever probable last index is there, I can use that. So I have to write int i equal to, what is the name of array? What's dot length. I can use semicolon i should be greater or equal to 0 semicolon i minus minus and here i will do curly braces and try to print it but i can i can tell you that here we will get a error what is what should be the error array index out of bound exception why because we are giving words dot length and normally what's dot length is here. What is the what's dot length here? Kindly count it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here in the code itself, I am trying to use the index equal to 6. And as we already know that the index start from 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Only up to 5 we have indexes. So how it is possible to use index 6? 
So whenever we will use this words dot length, we will get array index bound of exception. So we will try and then we can change. So you can understand that why words dot length minus one should be used. So let us try it. So I have to write it here like this one words bracket of I and I will try to print it. So whenever I will run it, I will get array index outbound out. You can see even even before uh, this one, I am getting my name is Gaurav Kumar Gupta a different error. Why? Because I have missed the double quote here. So as a tester, I have to find the error. So now again, I will run it. And after running it, we will get the index out of bound exception. You can see here index six out of bound for lane six. So to avoid this error, we have to use minus one because we have to start the indexing from five instead of six. So now when, when I will print it, it will give the correct output. What should be the output? My is 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 in the in the last name is Gaurav is present here and even if we will if we will scroll up we will get Gupta Kumar Gaurav is name my but still we are not getting the correct output because we want the output in a single line how we can do do so by using the empty string whatever I discussed in the previous lecture so I have to use that concept which is desired equal to desired plus the condition whatever whatever I have developed. So here I can use this words of I directly. So I have to just cut it, paste it here, give a semicolon and I can put this desired output inside this particular system dot dot print line and try to run it. Still I will not get the the correct output i will get different output in different lines because i am trying to print within the for loop itself as i told in the previous lecture here in the first line it is giving i equal to 5 so what is i equal to 5 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 gupta so it is printing gupta when i equal to when I decrease from 5 to 4, then what is what is the uh, what is the value? Value is Kumar. But as we have written desired equal to desired plus words of I, so it is appending with Gupta. So we have to use this system dot out outside the for loop after completion of each iteration. So we will get the desired output. So let us try to run it and we will get the desired output. We will get Gupta Kumar Gaurav is name my. But here the interviewer will not be impressed by our code. We have to give spaces between the between the words of my name. Yeah, you got you got my point. So instead of printing this one, we can we can do some beauty uh, beautification I, I would say so we have to use plus double quote you can give space and plus I can give and try to again run it you will get spaces in between yeah you can see Gupta space Kumar Gaurav is name my I am getting still I am getting a blank space before the starting of the the content itself how i can override this thing i can use the dot to trim means what i can do trim dot trim i will use a trim trim is a method present in a string which can trim the word spaces before the content itself let us try it so i will click on the run and it will give gupta kumar goro is name my so i got the desired output whatever the interviewer asked so from this lecture what we learned split trim and reverse for loop where we will start from reverse order that is int i equal to 
whatever the the array is what's dot length here uh, we learned this and one more thing we we learned that we have to use length minus one because the index is up to five only here because zero one two three four and five so i guess i have made you understand the concept how to solve this type of question in an interview without without getting panicked so hope you like my video if you like my video kindly like it and if you like the content whatever i am delivering so kindly subscribe my channel thanks a lot bye bye